Welcome for the final time to the last competition of the Summer Universiad. And it's the big boys, it's the super heavyweight. We're at the decisive part of the snatch phase here. And Iran very much to the fore as they always are in these super heavyweight co competitions. kilos second attempt in the snatch and a very positive achievement there for uh, Bahadur Mulai of Iran Mulai big disappointment for him this season when he didn't total in the Asian Championships but no problem here alongside myself David Goldstrom Commonwealth Games champion Michaela Breeze well, these are the big boys, Michaela. Absolutely, David. We're coming into a fantastic competition here, which is really hotting up. We've got three lifters here that are really going to be challenged with the medals. And Albergov, certainly one of the main contenders. Albergov, the reigning European champion representing Russia, who haven't had a big, successful, world-class heavyweight for a while. Oh, and he just made that look so easy. Absolutely, that's his first attempt, 194. Uh, he's got a personal best that stands at 210 kilos, so he started quite uh, modestly in the snatch. Let's see how far he can push this. Um, I'm confident we're going to see uh, in excess of 200 here today. Bronze medalist at the Olympic Games. Of course, really taking over from Shigishev, who's been the most successful athletic super heavyweight in recent times. Of course, you remember he lost out to Steiner in Beijing, and really the differential in body weights that the honours really morally went to Shigishev. Yeah, and the supers, so the 105 plus, the body weights are unlimited. Um, you know, you could be 20, 30, 40, 50 kilos heavier or lighter than you can put your, your opponents. Albergov, 155 kilos. And Mulai weighing in at 137. Mulai just 21 years of age. Albergov, that much more experienced at 25. This is his third and final attempt here for Mulai, 196. Fired up. Well, these are big guys, but the speed they can move underneath the bar. Can he stand still? Can he stay on the platform? And the answer, happily, both. But they've got such a division here of uh, talent in the super heavyweights, the Iranians. Really, ever since uh, Hossein Razazadeh really started to command this and then when he retired of course he ultimately was the president of the Iranian uh, Federation and they have just taken Olympic title after Olympic title and as I said one super heavyweight has got the next really had to work hard to stand still to steady himself the rules are you've got to be standing under control feet in line just managed to stay on the platform Gotta love the shots of the coaches. Bar oh, now is on 197 kilos. This is the third and final attempt. Abuev. Yes. Mogamad Abuev. Uh, Abuev again, a Russian, a young Russian junior European champion last year, but with an impressive 424 kilos. Oh, really dived under that one, almost to the point where the bar came down on top of it. But he's got the strength to stand with that. Sensational final class to the whole of the weightlifting here at the University out here in Kazan. We're in the Batir Sports Centre. You can see it's packed. The atmosphere is great. And there's a real buzz around here. So, uh, Abuev. He had 197. 
Only one lifter left in the competition now. Albergov of Russia, two attempts remaining. Are we going to see the Magic 200? Yeah, I've got a feeling that you might well uh, be going in that sort of territory. Peter Nash, the Hungarian, is the defending university uh, champion, but he only could match up 183, a really disappointing first phase for him. There we are, 200 kilos, second attempt. Albergov is well and truly in the lead now. This is really important now because he tries, he's got one more attempt to try and build a cushion of advantage. And the, clean, the snatch record, that's been completely annihilated with that 200 because it's 192. Peter Nash had the summer university record. The snatch record, Badad uh, Salim of uh, Iran, who set that 214-kilo world record in Paris. And the other records at world level still belong to Hossein Razazadeh. 263 for the cleaning jerk, 472 for the total. Makes you think, doesn't it, a little bit, 472 kilos. University total is 412. And you sort of know that that's going to go big time here. Final attempt, 205 kilos on the bar. A tremendous lift off that bar, just having to take a step forward to steady himself. Feet must be in line. You see the relief. He knows, he's in control. That's a nine kilo advantage over uh, Mulai. And uh, 197 is uh, Abuev, so he's eight kilos ahead of Abuev. So uh, at the moment, you've got to say that everything's going swimmingly for uh, Ruslan Albergov. Yes, it is. He's there to be chased down, but it's going to be very close between the others as well. If they can't catch up with him in gold medal position, Mulai and Abuev are going to be very, very close for silver and bronze. That's assuming they can't catch this man. Wow, this is going to be uh, putting up to be a real competition. First time I took really notice of him was in the President's Cup of a, a couple of seasons ago. Uh, uh, when he totaled up 429 Albergov and uh, already announced himself on the stage. And there you can see the situation at the halfway stage, just the clean and jerk to come in the super heavyweights, but it is Albergov ahead of uh, Abuev and Mulai. And you can see the gaps going down here. Look at that, 205 and uh, men in the 170s. Clean and jerk to come. So back here in Gazan, now the decisive final phase of the clean and jerk, which is going to determine the outcome of this super heavyweight class. First attempt. Here we've got Albergov coming out on 240, coming out to get a safe one in. Personal best stands at 250. The feet back in line, stand still. And he's got it. 240 kilos, first attempt. Well, I'll tell you what, look at look at this crowd here. You've got weightlifting experts from all over the world and they're rejoicing in it. This is a high quality university ad final. This really is, David. I, I can honestly say we've not seen this calibre of competition at this kind of level before, so they really are taking this seriously and going all out here. Also, you can see he's a big guy. He's over 150 kilos, but there's a deal of athleticism about it. Oh, the speed they've got to move, the positions they have to get into. Anybody at home that just wants to appreciate how difficult it is to get into that position, go and get yourself a broomstick, pop it overhead and see if you can get into a squat position. It really is challenging. Even, even the, the clean position, the bar on the shoulders.
coming out. 100. Sorry, two. Nine seconds. Oh, oh it wasn't that easy time. Said, was it? 240 kilos, third attempt there. And that's by Magomed uh, Abuev, the other Russian. And that's uh, a bit disappointing. It's going to leave him on 47, which is a new personal best nonetheless. And I think this Russian is uh, one to keep your eye on as well because uh, he's younger. He's got some extra years on his side. But that's going to cost him a chance of going uh, any further. But, you know, 427 is a decent score. Naj has finished on 409, the man who won a couple of years ago, the man who actually carried the flag at the opening ceremony. Well, I've got now just loading the bar to 2.45. Only five kilos up on his first attempt. He's been called. 2.45, I mean, that is 25 kilos in the previous University Ad record. And just to put it in context, it's uh, 2.63 is the World Clean and Jerk record held set by Hussein Razazadeh in the Olympic Games of Atlanta 1996. That was then, this is now. Works hard to stand with that. Big, oh. big drive to arm's leg, just needs to bring his feet in line. Yeah, and they're in line, and I tell you, he gets the down signal from the central referee, and I tell you what's also helping him is He's got this adrenaline push from the crowd because we're in Kazan, part of, uh, or well, the capital of Tatarstan, autonomous region within the Russian Federation. He's Russian and he's got a Russian uh, audience there really to support him. Yes, he has. Well, this competition really is hotting up now. Mulai came in at a 2.35 for his first attempt. He's nine kilos behind Albergov after the snatch and needs a 254 kilo attempt now at the clean to try and push for the lead. Will he go for it? This man is, ex well, the man you're talking about, Mulai, uh, I know you were doing a bit of an analysis on, well, there's David Rigger, the senior men's coach for the Russian team, at this time in a sort of observing situation, but what a, a great former Olympic champion himself and a wise, wise man, and he must be uh, trying to fathom out that this guy, Mulai, where is this really rapid improvement because you were looking at these figures and saying that the improvement is actually astonishing even though you're young it's still astonishing yeah he's coming into this Mulai's coming into this now with a 232 personal best he started on 235 and if I'm right in has now been loaded to 254 kilos this is 22 kilos above what he's ever posted in a competition before just phenomenal yeah and I know they're super heavyweights but I mean this is 19 Lead. This to take the lead, unbelievable. Body weight, 137.78 kilos. Albergov, 155.8. Nothing to do with body weight at the moment. It's this fire in his belly, the determination where the body and mind come together. of those red weights, 25 kilos. Oh, he's cleaned it! Unbelievable. <laughs> Staggering. Can he, he stand it? He's going to stand with that. He's got it. That is unreal.
behind me. The great thing, isn't it? For the watches. Yeah. Yeah, it's about to be. It's a book to do a look of this, it's virtually over anyway. But, you know, I haven't got it. What did you say, Andrew? I hear you banging. I do try to catch them up the mouse. They get flying around. I don't want to cut it. I don't want to cut it. I don't want to cut it. I don't want to cut it.